Good morning, children. Welcome back. Before we start our workbook this morning, we're going to do a little bit of review. Who remembers what this letter is? Anybody remember? W. Good job. It's a W. And what sound does the W make? Remember? It's the letter where you got to pull your lips all together like this. Like watch. Okay. Who remembers this letter? This was the last vowel that we learned. It's the E. E says F. F like elephant. Uppercase E, lowercase E. N, remember this one? Who knows what this one is? Karina, do you remember? L, good job. It's an L, and the L says L, like ladder. Remember the L, the lowercase L is just a straight line down, and then you're done. It's kind of like the one, but it's an L. So here they are on these flashcards. It's the E, upper and lowercase E, upper and lowercase W, upper and lowercase L. Those were the three last ones we learned. And we're going to have a new letter today. Everybody open your books. We're on lesson two. Lesson two. Page should look like this, and you should have a two up here at the top. Lesson two. And you have a new letter today. And ooh, I hate to tell you, but maybe it's a little bit kind of a hard letter, maybe. Who knows what that letter is? Anybody know? Q. Have you ever heard of the Q? Now what sound does the Q make? Q makes the qu like quilt. It's kind of mm, kind of a little bit hard because it's kind of like the C and the K. The C and the K are just kind of a hard k, and the Q is a qu, kind of like a kind of like a C and a W together maybe. Qu like quilt. Let me read you the poem for the Q. Quail will fly when they see someone nearby. Do you children all know what a quail is? A quail is a kind of bird. Quail will fly when they see someone nearby. Everybody point to the capital Q here and the lowercase q. Capital Q is just a circle with that little mark there in the corner. And then the lowercase q, they're pretty easy to write. It's just their sound is a little more difficult. Maybe it's a letter we don't hear quite as much about as some of the others. There, I just used it. Quite is a q. Quite. Okay, let's look at that picture. What is that little boy doing in that picture? Boys, most of the boys probably know what he's got in his hand there. It's a bow and arrow. So maybe he's hunting, maybe he's bow practicing. I don't know. But what do you see in that picture that starts with the Q sound? And there's not as many words that start with Q. There's just a few. And some of them you might not even be familiar with. So we'll go through there and look at them and see what we can learn. Does anybody see? We'd already talked about the quilt. We have a quilt here hanging over this basket. And I guess I forgot to tell you to find the upper. See if you can find, have you already, you probably already done it. Did you already find the upper and the lowercase q in there and circle them? If you haven't done that, you can look for those. There's an upper and a lowercase q hidden in the picture. Whenever you see them, you can circle them. And then you can circle the quilt. We've talked about the quilt. It's hanging here out of the basket. 
Does anybody see anything else that would start with the qu, qu sound? We talked a little bit about quail, and here's four of them coming down the trail. See these birds here? They're quail. You boys probably know more about quail than what I do. I know my dad used to raise them, but I don't know much about them. But there they are. Remember, they were kind of a gray color, maybe. So if you color this picture, maybe color them gray. That's the way I remember. Quail. So you can circle those four quail. Anybody see anything else in that picture? There's some money there. See those two coins laying on the trail? What is it? What's those coins called? Quarter. Quarter starts with the Q. See the quarters here? Right here is two quarters. You can circle the quarters. Now we have quilt, quail, and quarters. And there's another one that I would, friends might have never heard of this. See this feather here? Back in the old days, that was called a quill. Have you ever heard of a quill? Not a quilt, just a quill. It was a feather that they used to write with. And here beside it is a little ink pot. They used to keep their ink in the little pots. And then they dipped the tip of the feather in it and you could write with it. And this was called a quill. Now, now today we just have ink pens and our ink is right inside the pen. But back in the old days, their inks was in the little, little pots like this and you dipped your feather in and then you could write. So quilt, quail, quarter, and quill. Do you boys know what? Um, do you boys know what this is on his back here? Is that a quiver? I think so. The thing that holds his arrows, is that right, Kenzie? Yes. Yeah. Right here, this thing on his back. I got Kenzie checking for me today. Do you hear back there, Kenzie? Tell him hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this thing on his back here, you boys probably know that better than me and Kenzie. We was, we're trying to decide what it's called. We think it's a quiver. <laughs> There's his arrows sticking out. So quiver. Quiver starts with a Q. And there's one more in there. And it's this stone. These are kind of hard ones for you. See this little object right here? That's kind of a stone and it's called quartz. Have you ever heard of quartz? Quartz can be clear or it can be colored and it's a kind of stone. So you can go ahead and circle that. Maybe for one of your projects today, have your parents Google some of these words and maybe you can learn more about them. Maybe you wanna learn more about the quill or the quail or the quartz. Oh, and here's one more. See this jug here? They're calling that a quart. It's a little, it's a quart jug. Whenever I think of quart, I think of a quart jar, like your mom would can bring beans in. But there they have a quart milk jug. Quart starts with Q. Okay, so a little bit harder letter, but it's not too hard for you. I think Yens can master this one. It's a Q. It's pretty easy to write. It makes the qu sound. Qu and we had quilt, quail, quarters, quill, quartz, quiver, and quart. Quart. So try to remember that. We'll maybe touch on it a little bit more later today. Okay, so you can turn to this page. 
Everybody turn to this page. We're going to talk about, I think, beginning sounds. The first one is what we just had, the quail. So that's going to be easy for you. Draw a line from the quail to the lowercase q and then to the uppercase q. And then the next one is a watch, and that was one of our review words, one of our review letters today. Remember the watch. Draw a line to the uppercase letter and the lowercase letter. And then you have a book. The beginning sound of b book. And the next one is egg. E egg. That was another one of our review letters this morning. That's a hint for you. And it's also a vowel. Egg. And the last one is kite. K -k -k kite. Okay, everybody finished with that part? That takes us down to the bottom here. We have two pictures, and they're wanting us to write the beginning, the middle, and the ending sounds. The pictures are net and pet. Net and pet. So if you listen closely to those two words, they have the same middle sound and they have the same ending sound. Let's listen again. Net. Pet. Hear that et on both of them? Net. Pet. So what? Let's start at the end this time. Maybe that will be easier. I don't know. Let's get the ending letter. What letter makes the t sound? Net. Hear that ending sound? And pet. Anybody know which letter makes the t sound? Jamin, can you tell us which letter makes the t sound? T. If you said T, you got it right. Let me make a T in that box. T is the ending. Can you see that? Now let's try to find out the vowel sound or the middle sound, listen carefully. Pet, net, hear that eh, eh. Which, which vowel is that, children? All of you should know. Jakira, which one is it? If you said the E, you got it right. It's the E sound. So now we have et and et. Now we need the beginning sounds. N, net. Hear that beginning sound? N. Which letter makes the n sound for net? Who knows? April, do you know which letter makes the n sound? N. If you said n, if you children put n, you got it right. N, e, t says net. And then, pet. Who wants to guess the beginning sound on pet? Shanika, which one of those letters makes the sound? P, if you said P, you got it right. Anybody put P down, it's right. So now we have N, E, T and P-E-T. Oh, I 
just drop my pencil. Did everybody get those? I'll put my book close so you can look at mine. N E T is net. P E T is pet. Whenever the video is over, you can come back to this page and kind of study over those words and sounds. And also, when the video is over, Kenzie, have they been coloring their letter page like this? Have most of them been coloring? You children, if you can, always come back and color your pages that need coloring. So you need practice coloring, staying in the lines and stuff. Okay. And then that takes us to this page. Everybody ready to go on to this page? Practicing the cue. And the cue is kind of easy. It's a circle. If you can draw a circle, let's do one or two on the board. It's the lowercase q. The lowercase q, so you start at the dotted line. Can you see the dotted line? Start at your dotted line and make a zero, just like you would be making a, an A or anything else. Make your zero on the bottom part, and then you just do a straight line down. And kind of like a fish hook. You guys know what a fish hook is, can you? I wish we could see this board better, but a circle and then a fish hook. I'll make it really dark so you can see it. Can you see that, children? It's not too hard to make a cube. We'll practice the uppercase Q on our other page then. So go ahead and make you some cues there. Don't take no shortcuts, children. Start on the dot. Let me get closer here. Start on the dot and make these practice cues. You have one, two, three, four, five, six of them today. Make your practice cues. And then you get to make one, two, three, four, five, all of your own. Do a really neat job. Kenzie's grading you on how neat you're doing. <clears throat> and then you get to do some practice L's. Remember, that's just a straight line down. And then some E's. And then when you're done with that, we'll do the sounds at the bottom on the bottom line. I will say a sound, you'll write the letter that makes that sound. If you're not finished, you can come back and work on it later after the video. But let's go ahead to the bottom line. Everybody ready for the bottom line? I'm going to tell you sounds and you write me the letter that makes this sound, okay? Everybody listening? The first sound is one we practiced this morning. And watch my lips. Everybody look up here. Your first sound is W. Like watch. 
write the letter that makes that sound. The next letter, I'll give you a hint, it's a vowel. And the sound that it makes is uh, like umbrella or under. Uh, the next sound, am I going too fast for you? The next sound. Everybody look up here, is j, j, like jacks, or mm, I don't think we have the J hanging up there. J, jug, jug, there you go. We'll have to get that one hung up. The next sound is rrr, rrr, like rabbit. And the next sound is k. And there is two letters that make this sound and you need to write both of them. And the sound is k, like kite or cake. So write both letters that make that sound. When you have that done, you can turn to this page. I want to get close so we can see. It's time for Sarah to go to bed. Help Sarah climb the stairs by reading the words. Then come back down again by reading the sounds. Don't fall. So the first word here, let's sound it out. M says M. E says Eh, and T says T. When you put it all together, it's met. 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 I met a friend at the park. The next one. Put your finger right here on the G. Put your finger on your G. Is everybody there? G says G, E says E, and T says T. When you put it all together, G, get, get, get. I had to get Kenzie up this morning. We won't say what time. <laughs> Get. The next step. Notice we've got the same ending and middle sound on each word. Here we have the E and the T again. So we know it's et. But what is that beginning sound? It's an N. And N says N. So we have net. Net. The next one is a J, and J says J, J. So it's J E T is J et J et jet. Are you getting the hang of this, children? Are you children all paying attention? Everybody put your finger on the W. Daryl, are you following along? Grant, finger on the W, please. What sound does the W make? 
Step up is a P, P E T. The P makes the p sound, so it's p et pet. Okay, now let's go back down the step. Let's start with pet. The next step down wet, jet, net. Get and met. You want to go back up and down one more time? Let's do them one more time. Finger on met. Everybody bottom step on met. Ready? Met. Get. Net. Jet. Wet and pet back down pet wet jet net get met isn't that fun after the video you can come back and work on those words too you need to be able to read those words pretty quickly whenever you see them you just know when you look at that you know jet met pet wet just that quick, you should know those. If you don't, come back after the video and study them. Okay, the next page we have, let's see what we've got on the next page. Oh, vowel sounds. Your next page should look like this. We have vowel sounds. Put your finger up at the top. Fingers at the top. Here we have Ready? Or I can see right here your vowels A, E, I, O, and U are your vowels. A says A, E says E, I says I, O says A, and U says A. Uh. Apple, egg, igloo, mm, octopus, and umbrella. A, e, i, a, and a. So the first picture here, gift. Let's listen to the middle sound or the vowel sound. Gift, i. Which one of those says I? Is it A, E, I, right there, I, A, or I? It's the I, gift. So the, I, the gift gets an I. If you would have said O, we would have had a goft. Or if you'd have said A, we would have had a gaft. But no, it's gift. I. Are you getting the hang of this, children? We're going to do a few together. Let's do the top row together, and then I'll let you do the bottom row by yourself. The next one is sock. Listen to that middle sound. Sock. Ah. That's a pretty easy one. See if you can figure that one out. When you know it, put it on the line here. Sock. Did you put an O? If you put an O, you got it right. It's a sock. Now, if you would have put an A, we would have had a sack. It's not a sack, is it? If you would have put an E, we would have had a sack. Not a sack, is it? It's a sock with an O. The sock gets an O. The next one is gum. Gum. Who don't like gum? Listen to that middle sound. Gum. Uh, uh. We 
Which one do you think? Whenever you know, write it down. Gum. Is it the O? Is it gum? Is it the A? Is it gam? Or is it the U? Gum. It's the U, children. Put a U right there under the gum. What is that next picture is? Oh, glass. Glass. That's an easy one. Which one of the vowels says ah? Whenever you know, write it down. Glass. Hear that vowel sound? Ah. Did you children write down the A? If you wrote the A, you got it right. Let's see, if you would have wrote the I, we would have had a gliss. If you would have wrote an O, we would have a gloss. See how that works? It's the A says ah, glass. Okay, next row, you children know it all by yourself. Here we go, net, net. Write the vowel that you think. The next one. Lid, lid, The next one, jet, jet. And the last one is Box, box. Okay, when you get that done, we'll go on to the bottom part. On the bottom part, what's below the green line? They're wanting, now they're wanting beginning sounds. So we're switching from middle sounds to beginning sounds. So now we're listening for the beginning. Our first picture is wagon. Wagon. Which letter makes the w like wagon? If you know, put it under the wagon. Did you put a W? If you put a W, you've got it right. Wagon is W. The next picture is quarter. That one is easy. That was one we had today. What is it, children? Q. Quarter gets a Q, just like we had today. The next one is lamp. Lamp. Which letter makes the L? Whenever you know, write it down. Lamp. Did you put an L? The one that looks like a one? L for lamp. And the last one is quilt. And that one's really easy. We had it today. Quilt. Okay. And then we have this page. We have a new number today. 
And it's the number that comes after 17. And who can tell me what that number is? Zach, what is this number? It comes after 17 is what? 18. Good job. 18. Now, you know what, children, it's time to count. Let's start with a zero, and we're going to count all the way up to 18. Are you ready? Here's zero. Everybody, all together, help me. I don't like doing this by myself. Are you ready? All together. Zero, one, two, louder, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Zero, eighteen, all the way to eighteen. What comes after seventeen, children? What comes after seventeen is eighteen. What comes after seven? Eight. Seven comes after, eight comes after seven, I guess I would say. Seventeen, eighteen. I don't know if it would help you any. Can you see my numbers? Let me move my thing and we'll look at numbers over here a little bit. Ooh, this is kind of scary moving this. Can you see my numbers here? Let me move it back. There. There you go. Can you see those numbers okay, children? Let's look at these numbers a little bit. Let's do it on the board. Are you ready? One, two, all together, everybody help me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. What I wanted you to see, children, is how these teens all come in a row. Like, see here we've got one and a one. We got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. See how those are all come in a row again? It's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10s. Do you remember how to count by 10s? Let me see. Starting with 10. We don't have nothing to look off of. Let's see if we remember. You ready? All together, help me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job. That's counting by tens. Okay, where are we at now? Oh, right here, 18. Everybody ready for this page? Our number today is 18. And I think if you count those little bumblebees or flies or whatever they are, I would say there's 18 of them. Count them and make sure. Whenever you count them, you can write your number right here, write you an 18 right here on the, in the box. And then, everybody ready to go on? Everybody look up here. 
15, 16, 17, and what comes after 17? Write it right here in the box. 15, 16, 17, 18. So make you another 18 in this box. And then we get to fill in, I think it's filling in the missing numbers. Starting with one down here, start with one, two, so you got to write the two because it's the one missing, and then you have the three, what comes after three, four, five are missing. Go ahead and fill all those numbers in, all the way up to 18. If you don't have that finished, you can come back and do it after the video. Let's go ahead to this page. The top part here is nothing new. We just count and circle. But the bottom part down here, we're going to learn something new today. So everybody, stop what you're doing. Let's turn to this page. We're on the bottom part here. We're going to learn something new today. Okay. Now you children look at this and you think, oh, we've already done this, but no, you haven't. You've been doing addition in the past, and today we're going to do subtraction. Notice this little sign here? It's different. This is the minus sign. So today, instead of having 2 plus 1, we have 2 minus 1. See the difference in that little sign right there? Now what does minus mean? Does anybody know what minus means? Or I think when I was in kindergarten we used to call it takeaway. Let me see here. Let me get me some pencils. We'll do a little minus in here. Okay. Can you see these pencils? I have three pencils here. And what happens if I take one pencil away. How many pencils do I have left? Two. So in this math problem, it's three. One, two, three. And you take away one, or minus one, equals two. Three minus one equals two. Okay? Let's do, let's try four pencils. Okay, see, now we have four pencils. One, two, three, four. So what if we have four minus one equals what? How many pencils are left? Three. So four minus one equals three. Is that easy enough? I think we'll do these top two together once. See how we get along. So first we have up here at the top, we have two, two nuts. So we put a two in the first box. And it says two minus one. So mark one of those out, put an X on one, like that. Now how many do we have left? Two. 2 minus 1 equals what? How many are left? 1. So you put a 1 in the box. 
not hard at all, is it? It's something new, but it's not hard. You ready to do the balloons? You have one, two, three, four balloons. So we put a four. They've got you a four already there. Four minus one. So put an X on one balloon. How many balloons do you have left? Four minus one equals what? Three. So you put a three in the box. Let's do the rabbits together yet. You have three rabbits. One, two, three. Here's your three. Three minus one equals what? If you have three rabbits and you minus one, how many rabbits do you have left? Two. Good job. So put a two in the box. Did you get that, Ashton? Three minus one equals two. Are you children all following along? Okay. The last one, I'm going to let you do it all on your own, okay? You have five leaves. It's five minus one equals what? Whatever number you think, put it in the box there. If you don't understand it, we'll probably have more of these later on. It's called subtraction. So now we know how to do addition. That's when we have the plus sign, and we know how to do subtraction. Okay, the next page looks like this. You can go on to this page. It's, everybody knows how to do these. It's just counting and writing the number. Always start at the top and start on the left. Mark them out if you need to. Be really careful when you're counting. And children, you have to write your numbers neat, okay? Neat, neat, neat. So don't go above this top solid line and don't go below this line. And make sure your numbers are all within those lines. Remember, we worked on this at school, so you need to do a neat job, okay? And that page there, too, I'm going to let you come back to it after the video. We're going to go on and do this page together because this is something new for us. We've had a little bit of it, not a lot. Let's go on to this page. Let's look at these columns again. How many blocks are in one column? 10. So we know this is 10. So we start here with 11, 12, 13, 14. Is everybody on this page? Everybody following along? We're counting the blocks. There's 10 blocks in a column, so you say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So write you a 14 on the line. Really neat to stay within your lines. And remember the four, when you go across, it goes across on the middle, that middle dotted line. Are you looking at that? It don't cut across up here and don't cut across down here. You keep it on this middle dotted line like that. Okay, you ready to go on to this one? How many blocks are in one column? Is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So make a 16 on that line. And then I'm going to let you do the bottom two all by yourself. You have one column and a column is 10. 
and you have three more. So let's do the bottom two by yourself. And then down here we have a dot to dot and it tells you where to start at. You start right here with the one and the star. One, two, three, and see what that makes. Okay, so all of all these pages you can go back after the video and finish up your pages. Remember to write neatly. Write neatly, keep those letters within the lines. Remember, keep the ponies inside the fences. Remember that your letter today is the Q, and Q says like quarter and quilt. We're gonna have a practice page today too. I'll show you that on the activity book video. So I'll see you in a few minutes on the activity book video, children. Thank you for watching.